thank you again for being part of my channel amen god is good and i will say it over and over again because god is good he is saying to come on in and taste his goodness amen the lord is saying to you today that you are going to be a blessing going in and coming out you are going to be a revolving door of blessings amen blessed are your finances bless is your family bless is your home bless 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 and blessings hello everybody god bless you god bless you i know it's been a little while since i actually posted a video i'm actually going into this sabbatical amen i am going to be like jesus and just kind of break from the crowd a little bit and go into the, <laughs> the garden of Gethsemane. i'm gonna go to the mountains i am going to get away just for a little while to be able to focus and hear from the lord for this next season amen all I keep on hearing is next, 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 next chapter. Whoop. This chapter of your life is over with, is done and gone. Now God is going to make things new again. Remember that he is the God of second chances. He loves you and he cares about you. He knows that you have been seeking, that you have really been trying to change and do things differently. But the Lord is doing something different in this season. And this is the word that the Lord has given me. Watch this. Hey, God bless everybody. Got a quick little word for you from the Lord. Amen. As we're going into this next season, as we're going into a new chapter, the Lord says that he is wiping your slate clean. Amen. Now that is going to go in different ways pertaining to your situation, what you've been asking God for and what you have been seeking him for. Amen. Praise the Lord. I keep on seeing a clean slate. Just water, just washing the slate. I've been asking the Lord to forgive you for your sins. And you have been doing your very best to repent. But the Lord said today he is washing everything clean. He is washing your debt clean. He is canceling all debt in the name of Jesus. He is going to bless you. He is going to bless you like it says in Deuteronomy chapter 28, 7 through 8. That he's going to bless you going in and coming out. He is going to bless your finances. He's going to give you a second chance. He's going to give you a chance to make things right this time around. He's going to bless you in your marriage, in your home, in your finances, with your job, with your career. The Lord is making everything new in Jesus' mighty name. We serve a God of second chances. We serve a God that loves you, that cares for you, that understands. He sees that you're trying. He sees that you're putting your all in. He sees that you're doing your very best to do what is right. But the Lord is saying that this next chapter, this next season that we're coming into for the spring, a season of blessings, amen. Praise the Lord. Receive that word because that word is for you. Praise the Lord and thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now that he's giving you that second chance, guess what you're going to do? You're going to start doing things differently. You're not going to do things the way you used to do them before. Now we're going to start implementing some new habits. We're going to create new habits. We're going to go ahead and change our mindset. We're going to change the words that we speak. And we are going to start doing things right for the Lord. We're going to give our tithes and we're going to give our offerings. We're going to start sharing the gospel with people. And most of all, we're going to start spending more time with him. Amen. It's that time. It's that season. Amen. The Lord's got you and he's got your back. Never forget that. Lord, God is good. I pray that that word was for you. Amen. Amen. Because somebody is coming into a blessing. Somebody is getting their prayers answered. Somebody's going to get a surprise. Amen. Just continue to follow what the Holy Spirit tells you, okay? Money just doesn't fall from the sky. Even though sometimes it does when those miracles start happening, those miracles start manifesting, right? Many times the Lord is going to bring an opportunity before you to be able to apply for it, to grab a hold of it, plant that seed, declare, receive, amen, speak into it, believe, amen. Because the Lord is not done with you, amen. Your obedience has brought you over to the next chapter. Your obedience is bringing the blessings in. Deuteronomy 28 talks about the blessings for obedience. Amen. And Deuteronomy 28, 7 through 8 says that you are going to be a blessing coming in and going out. You are that revolving door of blessings. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
So I wanted to go ahead and come on here and give you that word. Now, I want to read a little scripture to you. Praise God. Before I go ahead and go into my sabbatical, I will not be posting videos for a little while, like I mentioned. Amen. So please don't get discouraged. Don't unsubscribe to my channel. Lisa needs a little break. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Taste his goodness. It's in the air. Just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. Thank you for answering those prayers, Lord. I am believing for that miracle. I am believing for the manifestation of those blessings. Thank you, Jesus. And then give me wisdom, Lord. Cherish and how to go ahead and handle the blessings that the Lord has given me so I won't make those same mistakes. Amen. That is a word for somebody out there. You want to learn from our lessons, our life lessons, right? Amen. Deuteronomy 28 talks about blessings for obedience. Amen. Let's go ahead and just dive into it just a little. This, I believe, is going into your next season. This is going to be a guideline for you. This is going to be something that you should focus on. Amen. Listen to what the Lord is saying in his word for you. It says on here, now it shall come to pass if you diligently, diligently obey the voice okay, of the Lord, your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord, your God, will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And number two says, and all these blessings shall come upon you. Let me repeat that again. And all these blessings shall come upon you. When do the blessings come upon you? After you diligently hear and obey the voice of your the Lord, your God. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, did you kind of catch that in between there? Amen. And so he says that all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord, your God. But how do I know I'm hearing from the Lord? It always confirms with the word of God. Amen. It makes sense, like biblical sense. Okay. Amen. So definitely make sure that you are praying about um, whatever it is you're asking God for the Lord does speak or he shows you something to come, then just go ahead and make sure that you are confirming it with the word of God and confirming it with the Holy Spirit. Amen. It does say on here, blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Praise God. The produce of the ground, of your ground and the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle, the offspring of your flocks, basically your finances, your um, your finances, your household, okay, your health is going to be blessed in Jesus' name. Blessed shall be your baskets and your kneading bowl. Praise God. Amen. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Amen. Praise the Lord. I speak that over you right now. I speak those blessings over you in the name of Jesus that the Lord will give you that seed even to sow into your um, your request into the blessings that you're asking God for. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. Amen. We're going to see victory. Praise the Lord. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. Amen. The Lord will command the blessings on you in your storehouse. Amen. And all to which you set your hand and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Take it as it is. Listen. Listen with your spiritual ears. Listen with your heart. Listen with your spirit. What God is telling you in this. This is a word for you. Praise God. Amen. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself. Just as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God. And walk in his ways. Then all people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be, it says, afraid of you. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body. There goes the fruit of the body again, in your health. Amen. In the increase of your livestock. Livestock. We're not farmers. Well, for those that are farmers, may God bless your livestock. May he bless your hands plowing that plow, right? 
but for us that work regular jobs, for us that have careers, may the Lord bless you. For those that even receive social security, you know, maybe on disability, may there be an increase, an increase in food stamps if you receive the food stamps, whatever help you get, whatever is coming into your home, may the Lord increase it right now a hundred times fold in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And in the presence of your ground, in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you, the Lord will open to you his good treasure. The Lord has been showing me this treasure box. Amen. He's been showing me this treasure box at the bottom of the sea. Now, it's interesting because God will show me this every so often, okay? The last time I think he showed me this was about three years ago, that there was a treasure hidden in the bottom of the sea. And we were going to have to dive in and discover this treasure, open it up, and boom, there goes the... There goes the blessings coming, the treasures, the value within you. Amen, praise the Lord. He is bringing that back around for this season. In Jesus' name, all you have to do is believe. Because if you doubt God and you doubt that this cannot happen for you and it seems a little too superficial, then guess what? You're not going to see the blessings. God is seeking those who are really worshiping him in truth and in spirit. He is seeking those that really want change. Those that really want to believe. Those that really want to, okay? He is drawing near to those that are calling him in. Amen. And when he comes, make sure that you get the wisdom and the prudence, okay, to go ahead and, um, and recognize that that is God and then take that step. Take that step of faith. Take that leap of faith. I am going to believe, no matter what my circumstances look like, I am going to believe this is coming to pass. The Bible says that we take, right? And we call it into, we call it into existence, right? So we're going to take the things of heaven, the blessings that God has given us, and we're going to call it into existence. We're going to believe it. No matter, even if you have to shut your phone off, don't watch social media, don't, don't watch the news, don't watch nothing. Just, whoo! Tunnel vision, tunnel vision. Just watch God, just like Peter did when he came off the boat. And Jesus said, yep, you can walk on the water. Come over here. And as he's walking, he has his eyes on Jesus, right? But the moment that he took his eyes off of Jesus and he realized that he was on water, what happened? He started to sink, right? He started to sink. But Jesus grabbed and said, hey, I got you, right? But the point of that story is that he took his eyes off of Jesus. So when the Lord had given you a word... And when the Lord is giving you a promise, okay, you need to stay in the Bible because the Bible is our news. The Bible is our social media, our go-to person, okay, to be able to get advice, okay, um, to be able to get, you know, a word from him. Be able to make us stronger, right, to renew our minds, amen, praise the Lord. So you always want to be in your word, audio Bible or reading the Bible, highlight circle, make notes. Don't fall asleep. Don't be lazy because this is a wealth of knowledge for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so it says on here, and I love this part. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I have a sister whose birthday is today. Amen. My sister Patty. And I'm going to go ahead and just say happy birthday to you. And I felt, you know, I felt that the Lord in my spirit, I felt that the Lord said that that's it. This is a new beginning for you. Everything is going to turn around in your favor. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I know that she felt that today because she was so much in high spirits today. Amen. And I believe that this is for you, Patty, along with many others too. But I'm just saying particularly this one is also from my dear sister. Amen. Praise the Lord. So look at how it says here, a number 12. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. The Lord says in verse number 12, the Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Amen. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. Amen. Receive this word. Praise the Lord. If you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and be careful to observe them. So you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day to the right or the left to go after other gods to serve them. Okay. 
there are a little bit of some little bit conditions there that are very simple and are common sense don't be going to other gods don't light those candles don't don't do prayers to saints okay that's what he's saying in here okay go to jesus okay he is telling you to just obey his commands his voice of the lord that's all he's telling you it's not that hard right amen but this is definitely a word for somebody and this is going into the next season into the next chapter amen praise the lord continue to be obedient no matter whether you feel tired or you feel sleepy or you don't want to or your emotions don't go against what god says because you're not going to get the victory you will get the victory when we are following what the holy spirit is telling us what the word of god is telling us and doing the things that are right and that is the word that i have for you today that the lord put in my spirit for you as i am going on this sabbatical and we are going into the next season amen continue to stay in your word may the blessings of the lord continue to surround you coming in and going out as a revolving door of blessings from the lord almighty god who sits on his throne in jesus mighty name amen god bless you until the next time that we talk on together beyond bless bye